I, uh, yeah, I think that's surface more thing. thing. I think that's more not, like not a computer because it, it's still I think yeah. it's quicker to actually I can do a lot more stuff otherwise. But yeah, I, I I think surface and for people who aren't sure, it's it's very much an intuitive interface. Yeah, like the mouse is still intimidating, and I found out like visiting my um, grandma <laughs> and stuff that she was actually intimidated by the mouse. And, and I mean that's weird. It's that's like scary. two decades over. Whereas they're just extensions of ourselves. Mm. Whereas this, you like just touch and it's like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and you drag it around. It would be interesting to see what Google's actually planning with that. Yeah. Well, it's probably just trying to get the talent. Maybe there's one or two algorithms there that they want. But... Maybe. Because mm. they're just about to release uh, Google TV. Mm. I saw that. That was pretty soon, epic. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see. So it's like Android on the TV yeah. and stuff. And Android is kicking ass at the moment. They are <laughs> fucking owning. There's uh, predictions that they're on their current growth rate at the moment, they'll take over the iPhone by August next year. Next year. August 2011. Hells, yeah. That would be interesting. Growing incredibly fast. Like, the only thing that's, that's well, failing them the most is the lack of apps. Well, we'll have to see how they compete against um, OS 4. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the big one. Know, you get more fucking circle jerks around that when it comes out. We'll hear about, we'll hear about Apple. Hey, Live. don't knock the circle jerking. <laughs> but we'll hear, about the, we'll hear about yeah, the iPhone the 4G for like another three months after they yeah. first announce it. Like, I'm sorry if you're getting jerked off. You're going to talk. Anyway, um, it's, it's fun. I, I, I like this bomb top thing. Check out this video if you haven't seen it before. It's just a nice new way of going in there. And it's, uh, by Google acquiring them, it does mean that that is something we're going to be Might seeing. Be going somewhere, maybe. We are going to be seeing this a lot. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but just a random other one. You should check this out. It's a TED Talk. You guys know TED. You should be watching TED if you What's want. What's TED? Never Fuck heard you. of TED before. Uh, Sounds stupid. <laughs> tools... Eggs and dinosaurs. 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 <laughs> no, it's uh, technology, entertainment, and design. It's a conference that they do. It's really cool. Yeah, I don't mean as much. I prefer dinosaurs. <laughs> anyway, Ted. Wolfram. Yeah, yeah shut, shut the fuck up and let me tell my story. Sorry. Okay, uh, to talk by uh, yeah, Stephen Wolfram. Uh, he's the creator of Mathematica and Wolfram Alpha and some other thing. I forget the name of it. Anal rape. No. But um, he's, his whole talk is he discusses all the different things he's found with uh, Wolfram and Alpha and all the different stuff you can do with it. It's really cool. Like He's created a, a computational engine and he's done some amazing stuff with Mathematica. Um, but, what is, train. but what is really cool is at the end, probably in the last about five, ten minutes of the talk, maybe five minutes, he talks about what his entire plan is with this whole thing. He, he actually wants to use all the different tools he's created. So use Wolfram Alpha and Mathematica combine them all into one thing and actually try to come up with the one universal algorithm. Because he, he, he's into this whole fractal thing as well, like he thinks that, you know, I mean everything is fractal, you look around and he thinks that the universe is probably a fractal equation and if you can just look back at it and just analyze everything that we know about the universe right now in science and maths. You can boil you can, it down to an equation. Yeah, boil it down to one, it should be a simple equation, a simple equation that just reiterates in a fractal way and creates a universe. And if you, if you do that, cool. you combine everything and that advances science and math. And, and he's trying to work everything. towards that. That's, That's his goal. Oh. And he reckons he can pull this off in the next, like, you know, 10, 20 years. Well, you look at the, the computing power, I mean, it's exponential. Yeah. But damn. Well, the cool thing about Wolfram Alpha is, is it does its calculations on the fly. <laughs> when you search for shit, it doesn't just pull out a, a, a data bank like Google does. Like, it doesn't just pull out a stored, crawled sort of shit. It actually computes it on the fly. I did not know that. That is out. crazy. So, yeah, like you, uh, he shows this thing where um, you look up like the International Space Station right. and where it is in, in relation to you and it doesn't use any stored data or any database. Like it, it uses a base mm. database. But it, it works out where it would be based on your location on the fly. Oh. It does that with a lot of stuff. Like that That's, why, that's why it takes so long to calculate. You get those little bars. Yeah, you do goggles. get away because yeah. it's actually computing. Wow. Uh, that's really cool. That's cloud computing. Okay, that, that is kind of like, epic. That, 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 that's where he wants the Wolfram Alpha to go towards. Yeah. He wants the universal machine, like the one computational power. Yeah. And that dude's a total geek. He's awesome. Oh, he's, he's pretty cool. He is pretty sweet. Well, I he mean, was, cool he was, is uh, definitely he, not the right word. <laughs> yeah, yeah he was great. really... His body language in the talk was really weird. He kept doing this stuff like... Oh, oh, big. Uh, <laughs> he was really okay, cool. But it was cool. Definitely to actually have that. a big computational machine. Yep, to work out the, the one equation of the universe. I like yep. that idea. I like it. It makes me feel happy, <laughs> humbled, kind of, when you look at those stars and they plot to attack me. <laughs> I swear they do. Well, they can't know what they're talking yeah, about. It's, they flash. it's quite humbling in significance. Mm, stupid stars think they're so much fun. Okay, the next one I want to talk about 
is this awesome, awesome, awesome video. You guys may have seen it before. It is the Social Media Revolution video. It is played to Fatboy Slim right here, right now, and it is epic. This used to be our, our um, original intro video mm. for music. But then it was like, yeah, it was so what, copyright. They, I wonder if they're paying royalties. Uh, who cares? <laughs> Probably. But it is freaking crazy. Like, it, you need to reiterate that. Like, I mean, I, I, I post this original video at Facebook. Post it to Facebook. God damn, it's even become part of our lexicon right now. <laughs> but it is great. It actually just shows how much of a revolution we're in right now. Like, all these yeah. things. Like, Facebook is more visited than Google in the US. Like, holy crap. One out of eight couples in the US have been have met over social media. It is just ridiculous how far <laughs> this has gone. Check out this video. I cannot emphasize it enough. If you only check out one link that we ever do here, check out this one. It is intense and awesome and fucking brilliant. <laughs> can't get it. Can't promote this enough. So, yeah. He's, he's excited. I love it. Love it. <laughs> love it. Anyway, um, that's about it. I, I not really much more to say there because you're going to watch this thing after. Yeah. Cool. Better. <laughs> anyway, this has been High 45 <laughs> of uh, the week of the 9th of the 5th. Fuck yeah. Catch you guys next week. It's been great. See ya. Oh yeah, I have a name. T-Dog. T-Dog. Right. Tristan. Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. Catch you guys next week. Bye.